Hey everyone, today I'll be working through this problem from College Board's Practice SAT 1. If you want to skip to the solution and its steps, skip to the end of the video. If you're interested in seeing all the necessary tricks to figure questions like this out, keep on watching. So, this problem has three key parts. The first is, what do we do with the 8? What do we do with this entire division of exponents? And then what do we do with this linear equation? If you know how to do these three parts, then you can do these types of problems on the SAT. And what we're going to be doing in this next few sections is going through some of the basics of exponents so that we can understand them. So what are even our exponents? When we talk about exponents, we talk about a base number like two with a power, in this case, two again. What this means is we take the base number two and we multiply it by itself however many times it is in the power. Since it is two, we will do two times two. In the case where it is zero, we would be multiplying by itself zero times in general, we're going to see that any number to the zero is one. And this would just be thus one. What about five to the five? Well, the base number is five and we're multiplying it by itself five times. So that would be five times five times five times five times five, which is somewhere like 125 times 25. In the case of seven to the two, it's gonna be seven times seven, which is 49. Two to the one is multiplying two by itself one time or just 2. 137 to the 1 is 137, because we're multiplying it by itself once. And then 137 to the 0 is 1. This final example is to show that no matter what number you have, if you raise it to the 0th power, or the 0th exponent, it's always going to be 1. So what is changing the base? Well, suppose we have a number, like 4. Well, we know 4 is the same thing as 2 times 2. Well, we can rewrite this as 2 to the 2, as we just learned about exponents. We're changing the base from 4 to 2. 4 is the same as saying 4 to the 1. 25 would thus be 5 times 5, or 5 to the 2. 49 would be 7 times 7, or 7 to the 2. 100 would be 10 times 10, or 10 to the 2. And what about 64? Well, 64 is 2 to times 32, which is 2 times 2 times 16, which is, I think, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. This is 6 twos, so that is 2 to the 6. Just to verify that, we have 4, 4, 4. This is 16 times 4, and that is 64. 8 would thus be 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 to the 3, since we're multiplying 2 by itself 3 times. These are all just different ways of writing the same number. So how do we multiply with exponents then? Well, if we have two times two to the two, we know this is the same thing as saying two times two times two, because the two to the two is the same thing as, as saying two times two. So thus we have two to the three, since we were multiplying two by itself three times. What about three times four to the two? Well, this is the same thing as saying three times four times four. But notice that the three is not the same as the four, so it has to stay outside. And then four is the same thing as saying two to the two, so it'd be two to the two times two to the two. Well, that's four twos in total, so it's three times two to the four. Again, just rewriting it in the same way with different numbers. These are the exact same number here. They mean the same thing. What about two times eight to the two? Well, two times two times two times two, and then squaring that or raising it to the two, or two times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And this is the same thing as saying 2 to the 7 or 128. When it comes to exponents, we have to distribute it in or apply it to the entirety of what's in the parentheses. Since the 2 is applying it to the 8, we have to apply it to 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. This will be discussed in a little bit. What about 4 times 3 times 2 to the 2? Well, 4 is the same thing as saying 2 to the 2, as we've seen earlier, times 3 times 2 to the 2, we have four twos here and a 3. So this is 3 times 2 to the 4. So a general rule when we're multiplying exponents is that if the number we're multiplying in, in this case 2, to a number with an exponent, which in this case 3, if they are different numbers, so 3, the base, is different than 2, then that's all we can do with it. We can't change it. But if it's the same, as the base, we can add it to the top exponent. So in this case, it'd be two to the three. 
So when we want to divide a number with an exponent by another number, it's as similar as in multiplication. This is two times two over two, which is equal to two. An easier way of seeing it though would be it's two to the two over two to the one. When we divide a number with an exponent by the same number with the same base, all we have to do is subtract the exponent at the bottom. Since it's two to the one and we have two to the two at the top, it'd be two to the two minus one or two. Let's apply this here to 64 over two to the three. Here we see that 64 is two times two times two times two times two times two. Two to the three in the bottom is two times two times two. This cancels out and we get left with two to the three. But if we use the other format, the top would have been two to the six and the bottom is two to the three. And this results in two to the six minus three or two to the three. So again, we can do it either way. And finally, we can apply this to three to the three over three to the two. Three to the three minus two for the exponent is three to the one. So the general rule is going to be if we have a number to an exponent value, and then again in the bottom, we have that same number to some other exponent, say z, the result in this division will be x to the y minus z, or whatever it's on bottom. So one of the complexities when it comes to exponents is when we have an exponent to an exponent, or parentheses, and then that to an exponent, as we see here in the first and second problems. When there is no parentheses, we just treat it normally. So it's two to the three to the two. The two applies only to the three. So three to the two is three times three is equal to nine. So then we have two to the nine. This is 512, just from memory. So in this case, two to the three parentheses two, this results in two times two times two to the two, which is two times two times two times two times two times two, times two equal to two to the six. An easier way to see this would be to see that two times two times two is squared, which is eight squared, and an even easier way would be to just distribute in the two, multiply it against the exponent three. So two to the three times two or two to the six. Using this, we can see this problem here with three to the three parentheses to the two is just three to the six as the two multiplies against the three, while on the bottom it's three to the nine because the two applies only to the three, not to the three to the three because it's not in parentheses. This results in three to the six minus nine or three to the negative three this is the same thing as saying one to the three over three, but that's not relevant in our current discussion. This will be useful in other problems, but I'm not teaching that here. The general rule here is that if we don't have parentheses, in the case of two to the three to the two, or x to the y to the z, we treat the exponents and all the values as if that exponent only applies to the value it's above. So the two is only impacted by the values above it, and the three is only affected by that two. So it's two to the nine. DX is raised to the power of Y to the Z, X to the Y to the Z. X to the Y to Z, then in parentheses, this is like X to the Y Z. So here are some mixed problems involving a bunch of these topics that we just discussed, and we're gonna solve each of them or simplify. So 10 times four to the two over two. This is the same thing as, as saying two times five times four squared or four to the two over two. These two cancels out. We have five times four to the two, which can be simplified to five times two to the two to the two. We multiply these exponents because it's parentheses, five times two to the four. Here's an even harder one. X times 96 over three times two to the three is equal to two. First notice that 96 is equal to 32 times three. So we have three times 32 is over three times two to the three times X is equal to two. The threes cancel out. We see that 32 is two times two times two times two times two, five twos, so two to the five. Two to the five minus three is two to the two. So what we really have is two to the two X is equal to two or four x is equal to two, x is equal to one half. 
And for the, this last problem, we can simplify this by remembering how we divide exponents by numbers with the same base, but 16 is not the same base as two. So what we have to do is convert 16 to have a base of two. 16 is two times two times two times two, or two to the four. We keep that power x plus one, and we divide this by two to the one. We distribute out the x plus one, and we take the three out, and we have two to the four x plus four over two to the one, or when we subtract the two to the one in the bottom, we have two to the four x plus three. Now we return to the SAT problem. Hi at everyone who skipped to this part. So let's approach this in steps. So eight to the x over two to the y can be rewritten as two to the three to the x over two to the y. Two to the three to the x is the same thing as two to the three x. If we multiply the x in, we still have that two to the y on bottom since we're dividing with the same base of two now. Since we're dividing with the same base of two, we can just subtract, so have two to the three x minus y. Now notice that we have 3x minus y already given in the equation, and that's set equal to 12. So this is equivalent to 2 to the 12. And would you look at that? That's the same thing as a. If any of this did not make sense, please let me know in the comments. And if you were able to learn something from this, I am very glad. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and best of luck in all your future endeavors.